Happy Monday everyone! Once again, this is Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you have a good Monday. Everyone needs to smile on a Monday so that whole of the week you will be happy. It's wrong that you started your week sad or nidavol na ya, okay? Because even if you want or you don't want, you will be with me. Me forata na me forata katima, me iste katima. You understand? That's why always be happy. Our topic for today is one of the grammar topics for higher levels. Direct and indirect. Primoy rage e kosvene rage. Okay, so let's start with direct speech. Direct speech, it is what the person exactly says. Direct speech is when you explain exactly what the person says. You understand? And indirect speech, for direct speech, I mean, you use quotation mark. De la primoy rage, ti imina raskajevesh sto tochna eta chilavek skazal. Did you understand? But direct speech to aniki. Gapi ani kami odam. Gapi megoye. You understand? And here we need quotation mark. Nam nada kavichke. What is kavichke in Tajik? No konak darkor. You understand? Again, for direct speech, you exactly say what Joshua said, or what Hannah said, or what anyone said. And for indirect, for indirect, you do not use quotation marks. For indirect, no need of kavichki. And for indirect speech, you also call it reported speech. Why reported speech? Because you are reporting what the person said. You understand? Ishoras. For direct speech, you say exactly what the person said. For this one, you report what the person said. Here, you will not use quotation mark. On behalf of quotation mark, you use the word that. Okay? Direct quotation marks we need. Indirect, we don't need quotation marks. Okay? What do we need instead of quotation marks? That. You understand? Now, look. Can you translate this in Russian, Nozani? Direct speech. Прямая речь в основном, когда используем прямую речь, мы произносим и говорим те слова, которые произнесены были кем-то. То есть мы используем кавычки и мы говорим копию его слов. А в косвенной речи мы в основном то же самое, мы говорим его слова, но только от своего имени. Мы не нуждаемся в кавычках, мы не используем кавычки. А также вместо вместо кавычек мы используем слово как бы let. Very good. And here. We use the name of the person. For direct, we use the name of the person. For indirect, we do not use the name of the person. We use the pronoun. You understand? Look. First, you, you say the name of the person. Then the second part, you use the pronoun. Later, I will tell you how it goes. In Tajik, stand up hangoma. Direct speech and indirect speech. Very good. We will use the name of the person only on the first part. You understand? Then we will use the pronoun for indirect or reported speech. But for direct speech, we do not add, we do not minus anything to what the person said, okay? Look at direct example. Joshua said, comma, quotation mark, I am very happy, okay? What Joshua said exactly, I am very happy. In indirect, Joshua said that he was 
very happy. You understand? Here, no need to use the name Joshua. And no need to say I because you are not Joshua. You understand? Can you translate this, Lilo? Joshua said, I am very happy. Joshua said that he was very happy. Very good. Now you understand the logic, right? Now let's go to the six formulas. Okay, there are six formulas. How to convert direct to indirect. Una si es chef formula, kap na da zelayet direct, di primoy rage na indirect or reported speech. Okay, look at formula number one. Formula number one. Present simple to past simple. The direct will be present simple and indirect you need to change it to past simple. Simple. Look at the board. Joshua said, I cook osh. I cook osh is present simple. You understand? And indirect, indirect, okay, or reported speech, Joshua said that he cooked osh. From cook, you change it to cooked. Did you understand? Nozanin in Russian. Joshua said, I cook Osh. Joshua said that he cooked Osh. Joshua said that he cooked plov. Joshua said that he cooked plov. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, Joshua said that he cooked plov. Joshua said that he cooked plov. Yeah, this is the right one. Okay, next. Lilo. Joshua cooked. Bye, bye, bye. I shoras, I abal. Joshua kuk oshroman me paza. Joshua kuk ti oshroman. Very good. Me paza na me shaman. Joshua kuk man hamavak oshro me paza. Joshua Goof Ki Vai Oshro Kuktabud Tojiki Ishoras Joshua Goof Man Oshro Mekaza Joshua Goof Ki Oshro Vai Vai Very good. Na Ruskan Joshua Skazal Ya Pastaya Na Gatov 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 Osh Joshua сказал, что он приготовил ош. Next, formula number two. Present continuous to past continuous. Okay. Хозирай да бом дор, кога заштаи да бом дор. Joshua said, I am cooking ош. Joshua said that he was cooking ош. In Tajik, without mistake. Joshua Very good. Joshua Goof man osho puhta istoda am. Joshua Goof ki vai osho puhta istoda bud. In Russian nozanin. Joshua skazal ya gatovil plov. Joshua skazal sto on gatovil plov. Next formula number three. From past simple, you need to change it to past perfect. Joshua said, I cooked osh. Joshua said that he had cooked osh. Be careful with your tajik because I know tajik better than you. Stand up. No. Joshua Goof man Oshro Buda. 
Joshua گفت کی وای در همون وقت آشراب پخت you understand had had cooked it means to say پش ای عملی پش ای عملی گذشته وای آشرو علکای پخت اشاره است one more time جوشوا گفت من من آش پخته بودم جوشوا گفت کی وای در همو وقت آشرو پخت ملاده است next past perfect to past perfect no change if the direct is past perfect indirect will be past perfect look Joshua said I had cooked osh Joshua said that he had cooked osh nausea very good good job so that you know that before another action he first cooked it did you understand now let's go to formula number five present perfect to past perfect Joshua said I have cooked osh Joshua said that he had cooked osh mm. in Russian nozanin in Tajik, be careful, huh? Joshua сказал, я приготовил плов. Joshua сказал, я только что приготовил плов. Я только что приготовил плов. Joshua сказал, Joshua сказал, что он тогда еще готовил плов. Very good, good job. In Tajik, Miss Adabi, hango hango. Biho 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 biho. Joshua, who marked? Alakai. Alakai. Joshua. 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 Do tavo ya zelal pasliti vrema ya nachala gatovil osh. Did you understand? Did you understand? Okay, in Tajik, translate. Because you are playing with Muhammad, that's why. Translate Lailo. Very good. Did you understand? And the next one is very easy. Can to could, will to would, shall to should. Okay. Look, Joshua said, I can cook osh. Joshua said that he could cook osh. In Tajik, Sabrina. <laughs> Metabonist, of course, of course. Next, Joshua said, I will cook osh. Joshua said that he would cook osh if the core. Will. It's easier in Tajik. Oh, Miss Russian. Joshua said, I will cook osh. Joshua said, I would cook osh. Joshua said, 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 Joshua cook osh Joshua said that he should cook osh Joshua 
You understand? Because the meaning of will and shall is the same. Did you understand? Did you understand? Again, Joshua said, I cook Osh. Joshua said that he cooked Osh. Joshua said, I am cooking Osh. Joshua said that he was cooking Osh. Joshua said, I cooked Osh. Joshua said he that he had cooked Osh. Joshua said, I had cooked Osh. Joshua said that he had cooked Osh. Joshua said, I have cooked Osh. Joshua said that he had cooked Osh. And the last one, Joshua said, I can. It will be Joshua said that he could. Joshua said, I will. Joshua said, would. Joshua said, I shall. He would. You understand? And now let's go to the rule that is special. This is formula number seven, but this is very special. That's why I didn't put it there. Why? For facts, for facts, baroy talil ko, zamun ko, ibas na mekonem. Pachimo. Joshua said, Dushanbe is the capital of Tajikistan. In direct or reported speech, Joshua said that Dushanbe is the capital of Tajikistan. We cannot change why. Fact is always correct. Fact is always right. Fact in fact ay hamavak durus mep durus mep durus as. You understand? Look, if you say Hannah said Dushanbe is the capital of Tajikistan, Katika Vichki, here, if you use was, no durus why? Tohoze Dushanbe Stalitsa Paitakti Tajikistan. You understand? That's why for facts, we will not change anything. You just put that and remove Kavichki. That's all. Again, what do we do for facts? Do not use Kavichki for reported speech. Just use that. Can you stand up, Nozani? Explain the rule for this special situation. This is my formula. It's very important. When we talk about facts, we don't change our time. And we also use the word that. For example, Hana said that the city of Tajikistan is the city of Tajikistan. We all know that it's a fact. And until now, the city of Tajikistan is the city of Tajikistan. It's not changed. And so, when we talk about her words, we just remove the word and use the word that. And so, we don't change the time. 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 Very good. Good job. Now, I will ask you one by one. No one will make mistake. Okay? Stand up, Lilo. Think well before you speak. Okay? Hannah said, I uh, Hannah said, I teach English. Hannah said that she teach Wrong. Oh. Again. Sefas said, I play football. Sefa said that he played football. Very good. Good job. Clap your hands. <laughs> Sabrin Chick. <laughs> Jerry Lynn said, I am watching TV. Uh, Jerry Lynn uh, said that uh, she was um, watching TV. Very good. Good job. Clap your hands. <laughs> Nozia. <laughs> Joshua said, I saw Hannah. Wrong. Another one. Sefas said, I cleaned my house. Stop, you are not Nozia. Sefa said, I cleaned the house. The house, very good. Next, Malika. Hannah said, I had talked a lot. 
<laughs> Hannah said I had talked a lot. Hannah said uh, she talked a lot. Wrong. She said Hannah said, said I had talked a lot. Anna said that she, that she talked. She had, she, had, she had talked. Again. Jerry Lynn said I had lost my money. Jerilyn uh, said that she, she had lost her money. Mm -hmm. Because they are talking, I will give you another question. <laughs> Nozanin said, I had studied TOEFL review. Uh, Nozanin said that she, she, she had she, studied. She had studied TOEFL review. Very good, Muhammad. Clap your hands for money. <laughs> Mehrona said, I have counted money. Mehrona said, I have counted some money. Ishoras, another example. They are talking, so I will continue asking you the same question, okay? Sabrina said, I have used my phone. Sabrina said that she had used her phone. Very good. Next, it's because Faizigul said, I will visit if the core at Ayumidi. Another question because again they are talking there. Sabrina said, I can talk a lot. Sabrina said that she could talk. Very good. Hangoma. Hangoma said, I will get married after Ramadan. Hangoma said she she would marry after Ramadan. She would get, get married after that. Very good. Good job. Next, Jasmine. Hannah said, Hannah said, Faridun Learning Center is the best learning center in Dushanbe. Hannah said that Faridun Center is the best learning center. In Dushanbe. Very good. Did you understand why? For a fact, we do not change anything. So, Miss Hannah, what should we do for us not to make mistakes with reported speech? Number one, memorize the formula. Number two, change pronouns. If it is Joshua, he. If it is my phone, Joshua, Joshua goofed my phone. It will be his phone. You understand? Here, you need to change personal pronoun and possessive adjectives. You understand? How many percent did you understand? 100%. Nozanin, stand up. Do not look at the board. Favor me. Formula number one. Direct speech Present simple. How will it be in reported speech? Present simple. We will use, uh, we will replace with past simple. Malades. Very good. Ay zamoni hozerai odi to zamoni guzastai odi. Nastayashe prashetse vrema. Prashetse prastoi vrema. Very good. Nastayashe prastoi vrema. Pato prashetse prastoi vrema. Very good. Stand up if the core. Pavirni. Formula number two. Present continuous for direct. What will it be in reported speech? Past continuous. Very good. Good job. Present continuous to past continuous. Stand up. Hangoma. 
Past simple for direct, what will it be for indirect or reported speech? Past simple to past perfect. Very good. Past simple to past perfect. Malikabonu. Pademi. Past perfect, Malika, for direct. What would what will it be for reported speech? It will be past perfect. Very good. Past perfect to why? Because after past perfect, there is no another pasty, pasty, past. The super past after past perfect. There is none. You understand? Very good. Good job. Nozia. Pademi, turn your back. Present perfect for direct. What will it be in reported speech? Pres <laughs> present perfect. What will it be for reported? Present perfect simple. It will be past perfect simple. Stand up, Sabrin Chick. <laughs> Will. Very good. Can. Shall. Very good. Good job. And the last one, Lilo. Explain in English, Russian, and Tajik for facts. Hannah said, quotation mark one fact, what will it be for the reported speech? No, no, koida. Uh -huh, very good. In Russian? And what do we add? Very good. If the call, what is, do not look at the board, Pagani, what is Kavichki in English? Nokonak. What is nokonak in English? Chi? Wrong. Quotation marks. Quotation marks. Or they also say inverted commas. Okay, inverted commas. Patamusta verguli na barot. Okay. Again, what is what is what is this nokonak? Quotation marks. Very good. Did you understand today's topic? I'll give you. Five minutes, you will make your own sentences in all tenses, direct and indirect, okay? Thank you so much for watching and you do have a great day, everyone.